Soon after my graduation from IIT Madras as a chemical engineer, I joined Cadbury's as a management trainee. I won't tell you all parts of the story, but I had the fortune to work in Srinagar, Induri, a small village, then in the corporate office. I was handpicked to lead the planning department, which was a coveted job at that point in time. And I will talk to you about one Mr. Gopalan who is retired, who is still alive, very old, but a great, great buyer. He was a purchasing manager. At that time, Cadbury's was importing cocoa from African countries, and the price was 55 rupees for a wet bean. And Mr. Gopalan had the vision as a purchasing manager who enjoyed traveling to Africa to bring cocoa and start planting passionately himself over the weekends and selling the idea of cocoa saplings, creating a nursery with the help of Cadbury's. In less than four years, India became completely self-reliant on cocoa. I'll also tell you another story of Barjorji Puchaji Ichapuria. He is, was a general manager. I had the distinction of working for him. And Cadbury's made chocolates. We had 40 grams, 13 grams, 80 grams chocolate. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. And as a planner, my job was to make sure that the aluminum foils were there for wrapping it. And guess what? Our entire production planning was dependent on one vendor, Indel. And they had a strike. And what happened? Innovation occurred. Puchaji Ichapuria challenged me, you're a chemical engineer. Why can't you put some way, some thin foil of aluminum and I'll buy aluminum but we how many of you are engineers here most of you and we don't want to say we are engineers right the job of an engineer is constantly to figure out how to maximize with the minimum resource so I'm really going to beg and request each of you to think like Gopalan and think like Barjorji, Puchaji, Ichapuria, and challenge yourself. Otherwise, we are not going to become globally competitive. Our labor arbitrage, labor productivity won't take us there. We have lost the manufacturing. We are struggling. And as material managers, we have successfully outsourced the material management to some ERP company and we all are very proud of being sitting behind the desk punching some numbers and seeing the inventory online. I really think that supply chain management is beyond, beyond just managing ERP, logistics, trucking. I think as engineers, I think you all know the real challenges of a factory and you can go out there and figure out how to come up with substitution products, bring technology innovation to the forefront and bring true materials management into the cost aspect 